So I've been getting a couple of comments about this. I'm just going to show you how I made my snacks picker config. So the default is basically just uh, the search on the left, preview on the right, and the search bars at the top. There is tons of layouts in here. So if we go through them, we got drop down, which is like this. So the files underneath, preview at the top, Ivy, it's at the bottom like this. This is similar to what I have, but I have my search at the bottom. Ivy split, preview is now taking up the whole screen at the top like that. There is select, which is similar to VS Code, I would say. So it's like this. There's telescope, which is, you know, good old trusted telescope. Search at the bottom, preview on the right. So after you've previewed them all, if there's not one that tickles your fancy, or if there's one that's kind of like what you want, but not exactly how you want, here's how you do that. So if we search through the help and we go to snacks, picker, layouts, and if we go down to the Ivy, because that's the one that I like, and if we just grab this layout here, we'll yank that. And as you notice, this is the exact layout that the Ivy provides. But we're going to go custom. And then if we go to layouts, we can then define this custom layout to then be this one, I'm missing a comma. Okay, and now if we restart and we search, we're gonna get the Ivy, perfect. Now, if we just grab this input window here and we put it at the bottom, and we restart, you're gonna now notice that the input has moved to the bottom down here, you see that? Or if we take the preview out of there and we put the preview, I don't know, here, as you can see, everything's moving around. So you can make a literal custom config. You can make it look exactly how you want. So for example, I'll close this thing. Um, to get the one that I like, this is kind of it. This is kind of it, but uh, it doesn't look the nicest because it's got like a random line at the bottom for no reason. So we can just change this border bottom to border top, restart. And there we go, we're kind of getting there. And then if I change these borders to rounded for both of these, and I restart, open again. As you can see, we've got a nice little rounded thing now. And then if I disable the border on here, which it goes around the whole thing, there we go, we've got like float, two floating things now. And it's also a case as you can define a multiple custom layout. So if I wanted to define another one, which is like custom two, and I want this to be the input on the top, for example, as you can see, the inputs on the top here, like I just changed, but on my finding files it's on the bottom. So you can have different layouts for every single picker if you want, and it's very easy to do. So yeah, hopefully you found that useful. I know a couple of you have been asking about this picker. This is how I achieved it. 